The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. In the waters of baptism, Louise Danielle died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. My dear brothers and sisters, we have come together today to renew our trust in Christ, who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us pray for our brother that he may share Christ's victory. Let us also pray for ourselves that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. Let us pray. O God, to whom mercy and forgiveness belong, hear our prayers on behalf of your servant, Louise Daniel, whom you have called out of this world, and because he put his hope and trust in you, command that he be carried safely home to heaven and come to enjoy the eternal reward. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please be seated to listen to the word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Are you unaware that we were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. For if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with that we might no longer be in slavery to sin for a dead person has been absolved from sin if then we have died with christ we believe that we shall also live with him we know that christ raised from the dead dies no more death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Responsorial psalm. Our response is, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right path for your name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread a table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the resurrection and the life, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread, whoever believes in me, shall not die forever. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus said to the crowd, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated briefly. In behalf of the parish of Our Lady of the Lakes, I would like to extend my deepest condolences to the family of Luis. Um, today is a day of mourning for the family. I know you love him very much. I know you appreciate him very much. You're here today to express the sorrow that you feel in your heart as you say goodbye to a good person. It is not easy to say goodbye to a good person. If you can only express the words that we want to say in our hearts, but words are not always enough to express how we feel inside of us. Oftentimes, silence makes up for what words are inadequate to express. Your presence here would suffice for and add to the sentiments in your heart that your words may not be able to express. But your presence here expresses a lot of how much you care for Louis and how much you appreciate his life. Life is given to us as a gift. We never own it. It's a gift given to us. Somebody even told us before, you may have heard it, God did not ask our permission for us to be born because it was given to us as a gift. And then we live our life on earth, a life full of joys and sometimes sorrows, full of challenges and accomplishments, sometimes of tears, but also of laughter, sometimes of upliftment, sometimes being downtrodden. We have trials and failures and a combination of both of it in our daily lives. And that defines who we are. And that defines the character of the uniqueness of each and every one's life. Every moment that's given to us is a moment for us to be able to live on earth, a life given freely by God. We are challenged to use that very gift given to us by God not only for ourselves, but for others. And I would certainly say that Luis had lived for others. He lived for you. He lived for his country. He lived for his loved ones. And today, we have to say goodbye to him. Although scriptures reassures us, in our faith, God still reassures us that all is not lost by death if we believe in the resurrection of Jesus. That our life on earth is temporary. Our true life is in the hereafter. It's with God. That's all our destinations are. Some of us will go ahead. Some will be stay behind. Not all will be going at the same time. But then we await each other for that very time where we will be united in God's kingdom. Today, Luis passed away from our midst. But then our faith allows us to say, goodbye, Luis, till we meet again. Only by faith that we can add those words, till we meet again. Because if we don't believe in the life hereafter, then we will just say goodbye. 
and that is tragic. Your faith, your love for him, will carry you through this period of mourning to unveil that hope in the future that Luis doesn't die forever, that we will meet again. For the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Hold on to that truth. And may that faith in the resurrection keep you consoled in this moment of mourning. Continue to pray for his eternal repose. Continue to look back to the good times that he shared with you, to the laughter that you shared together, to the joy of his presence. And as we recall them back, don't be afraid to say thank you. Thank you to the God who created Louise and shared him with you. And thank the God who welcomes him back into his kingdom. Louise, we all say to you, goodbye, till we meet again. Please stand. God, the Almighty Father, raised Christ, his son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask him to save all his people, living and dead. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayers. For Louise, who in baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brother who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, for the family and friends of our dear brother Luis, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord for all of us assembled here to worship in faith, that we may gather together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord God, our shelter and our strength, you listen in love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them of their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, now let us pray as Christ the Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Louise and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Luis again and enjoy his friendship. Although we will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. Song of Farewell, our response is, Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid, hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. 
receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto Luis, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him forever. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Luis in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Luis in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 My brothers and sisters, in peace, let us take our brother Luis to his place of rest. After the service here in the chapel, we will all be proceeding to the uh, committal site for Luis so that he can pray the prayer of committal. The final blessing will also be given up there in the cemetery. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Stop recording. I didn't stop recording.